Welcome back uh, to another video in the series on how to create an invoice using Microsoft Access. Uh, in our last uh, video in our invoice form, we uh, successfully created a total items uh, column here. So as we change the quantities of the customer's purchase, uh, it basically just multiplies the quantity by the retail price. Next steps we want to do is we want to create a, a subtotal at the bottom of our invoice along with tax and our grand total. Um, now, in order to do that, we're going to need to go back to our invoice tables, uh, details table subform that we created. And we want to go into design view. All right, and we're going to need to add, a, uh, we're going to need to add some uh, fields down here. So let's go to our design tab, select our text box. And when we select that, again, it'll give us two uh, boxes. The first one will be for our description. And we're just going to call this subtotal. And on our alt tab, we will name it subtotal. And then let's select our unbound box. We'll name, we'll name this subtotal mount so we can differentiate. And then let's click on our data tab and to get our expression builder on the control source row, let's select these three little buttons. And we want to put in a formula and that's going to be equals sum open bracket of our quantity times our retail. We'll close it, select OK, and we'll format it as currency. All right, and let's do the same thing for our HST and our grand totals. So in design, we're going to add another text box. We will name this HST. And our unbound box, we will name this HST amount. And to select our Expression Builder, go to our Data tab here, and that's just going to equal our, uh, find our subtotal amount right here, times 0.13, select OK, format as currency. And then lastly, we want a grand total. So again, in the Design tab, let's add another text box in here. We'll call it grand total and we'll name it that as well and on our unbound uh, box here we're going to name it grand total amount and get to our expression builder through the data tab. And this is simply going to be our subtotal amount plus our HST amount. Select OK. Format as currency. OK, so that should give us everything that we need. So let's uh, get up here, right click and let's save our invoice details form close it and go back and open our invoice form and add these items in here. So again, we have to go to design view. Okay. And let's scroll down a little bit because we're going to have to, <clears throat> because we want these fields to be below uh, this area of our invoice, we're going to grab this uh, bottom footer here and we're just going to uh, make some room here. A little bit farther, we can adjust these layers. Okay, so same thing. This is going to be a little bit different now. We're still going to add a text box and we will name it subtotal. And then let's go over to our inbound box. Now, because we've built the formula in the invoice details subform, all we need to do is link this unbound box to that through a little code. So let's go into our data tab. Same thing, we'll get to our expression builder. 
now in here so putting in a formula we're going to look for that invoice detail subform it just simply by typing in invoice and then we can see well i'm using invoice detail subform 2 and then we want to put a period and then we want the actual form so if we just start typing an f form will show up double click it and then an explanation point will now pull up uh the uh, the items available on that form and what we want here is we want the subtotal amount all right so that's going to pull this amount over or this formula rather over from our invoice details subform we will select ok and as always format as currency and now let's do the same thing and add our hst in here okay we'll name it hst highlight our unbound box here and let's go look for it through our expression builder on the data tab same process it's on the invoice details subform right here you have to put in a period and then start to type in the form you should be able to find the form here explanation mark and now we want to look for hst amount and it's right here select okay and format again as currency all right and then the last thing we want is our grand total so again let's add a text box right below here name it grand total whoops and in our unbound box we'll go looking for it again through our expression builder it's on our invoice subform period type in an F to find form explanation mark and now we just want our grand total amount which is right here so you can see that you know the process to get uh, access to this information is all the same the only thing that's really changing the only variable that's really changing is what field in our form in the invoice details subtotal that we're pulling up okay select OK and format as currency all right, so let's, uh, we've done that. Let's right click and save. And then let's go back to our form view. Uh, I'm gonna make a little bit of adjustments here now by going into layout view. And I just need to highlight the box. I can just use my up arrow key if I like. Move that up, move this up. I can go over to the right a little bit. Move that up just to tighten things up a little bit so I can see everything on one screen. We can see this uh, grand total is kind of hiding down here on us. So let's get this up in the air. Move it over. And our description. All right. So I'm not going to get too fussy about that now for the sake of time. Now let's just see how every, let's add another line to this invoice and just see how this, uh, this works. There's four of those. Okay. We can see everything now is working correctly. We've got our subtotal, our HST, and our grand total. Uh, we can, in class, we'll, we'll, we'll go into you know, uh, making our invoice form a little bit more presentable. But for now, let's go back to form view and save this. That is how you build a basic invoice in uh, Microsoft Access.